As like old wise game designers said, 3D games are mostly all about triggers and collisions. But that's why today I'm going to show you some useful tips for collisions in Unreal Engine 5. If you're ready, let's dive into it. Okay, so first I got a scene like that, that I'm putting my some preview meshes to check are they are working good or not. So I just created a new billboard uh, in Blender and I'm going to export this into Unreal. But I also want to handle how collision of this model work. So let's check the Blender. As you see, I have a model like that, which is kind of like a motel billboard. And I don't want to create a basic collision for this. I want to player can move under this billboard and stuff, but they still need to hit those legs of the billboard. So how I will do that? Actually, I can create a collision inside of the blender so I don't have to handle in the Unreal Engine. So how I will do, as you see, this billboard is my model, but I also created a cube which is the so basic shape of this billboard. And I'm going to use this as a collision of my model. So how I'm going to do that is click your object and type UCX. That and the name of your model, which mine is billboard. That's it. So what I what we're going to do after, I'm just gonna select my billboard and my collider. Only two of those. But file export FBX. Only selected objects, mesh, don't bake animation, forward X up Z for the Unreal. And I'm just going to export this FBX. In the import options, I'm just going to click import. Okay, our billboard is ready. This small thing group is not important right now. So I'm just going to take my billboard, put it in here again. Yep. But. Right here, and let's see our collision is works. Going to start to play. Okay, as we see, I'm hitting collision. Probably because of my size, I cannot move inside in this billboard. So let's check our collision settings. Go to your mesh. Okay, I just go into mesh settings. We have a static mesh in here. I'm just going to say show simple collisions. This is our simple collision and this is our complex collision, which is we are using right now. So what I'm going to say, okay, so we need to decide we are going to use simple collision or complex collision. Collisions are so expensive to use in games, especially if you have dozens of different meshes in your scene. So if you using a object like you're not interacted with as a player, you don't have to use so complex collisions because it's taking from the performance. But if it is directly about a player or player can interact or player can move around or move inside, collisions are so important. As you see, we are using customized collisions in here, but we can change what kind of collision we will use. We have two different collisions. One of them is simple, which is not so good. Other one is complex one. So just I'm going to show you as a collision complexity, I'm going to use simple collision as a complex. That means we are going to use this one. So in the collision settings, I'm going to remove this simple collision and I will add a new collision. You can add bunch of different collisions from here. Okay, we just can just add box. I will save it. 
So we have a collision like that right now. So let's see how it is working. Let's play again. This time I will try to move close to here. As you see, I cannot. Because our collision doesn't allow that. Because we're using not so good collision right now. So let's change it. Go to collision again. Click collision. Type click remove collision. Okay, so we don't have any simple collision right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add 18 DOP simplified, which is a 18 total sites kind of collision, or you can add 26. Let's add 26. And in the convex, convex decomposition settings, I'm just going to increase hull count to 32, max hull words 32, hull purchasing 500,000, just apply. Okay. Even it's simplified, as you can see, we have more complex collision because we increase the hull count and max hull words and hull purchasing. So let's try it again. Okay. As you can see, I can move inside. In here, I cannot move close to inside of these legs. Move here and I can move close to these legs. I'm using a more complex simplified collision right now. What we can do else, I'm just going to not show simple, I will check complex. Okay, this is our complex collision. And I'm just going to say use complex as a simple. So this is the basically the collision that we created in the blender and I choose complex collision mesh as a this billboard. We can just save it and let's try it again. Yeah, it's still working. But it might be uh, taking less or more performance than simplified because I don't suggest to use complex collisions for every kind of mesh and object, as I said before, because it's uh, not so cheap to use. But it's working perfectly fine right now. So I can show you some other settings that how you can add collision inside of the Unreal Engine without doing it in Blender. Maybe you just downloaded a mesh from the web and you don't have any collision of these objects. So you still can create a new collision inside of the Unreal Engine. I'm just going to remove this collision, which is simplified. Simple one. Okay, right now we're just seeing simple one, which is looking pretty fine collision for me, but it's a bit much. Let's make it 16. You decrease this 3000. Okay, we have a more or less complex collision right now. It can work. Maybe it's not so bad. It is taking every corner of the object legs looking okay and we spending less performance for the collision egg because we're using less shape for the collision so let's see can we use it by the way every time i'm just walking to here so i'm just going to start from here this time let's see okay it's still working what about legs legs still looking good too i think Yeah, it is still a good collision and we spending less performance. But how are you going to use your collision? As you see in the collision presets, there's some settings like block all, overlap all, block all dynamic, trigger rectal vehicle. You don't have to use these templates that Unreal Engine created for us. You can say custom. So how we can use it? For example, you can say every pound in the scene and overlap inside of this collision or block or just ignore. 
difference between ignore and overlap, you cannot create trigger events in the ignore section, but if you can make overlap, you can create it overlap functions. For example, if player goes inside of this collision, there's nothing to be to block the player, but still a, a trigger will work if the player overlap this collision, for example. What kind of other settings we have for the collisions? You can choose, are you going to use customized collision or not? If you, as I said before, if you created a collision before, you can use those collisions, but it will create like a, like a like project default. And I can move this. And right now, this customized collision mesh, let's click this. As you see, it will use this collision. Also, if it doesn't have any collision when you're importing, you can create generate missing collision. If there's no collision on the object, the Unreal Engine automatically will create a collision for your objects. Also, if you're working something like plane or kind of like a you need to use double sided, you can check this double sided geometry. For example, you will use a plane that the one side of the plane doing something, the other side of the plane doing something, maybe something like a gate or something like that. You can check this double-sided geometry so you can work on each side of the collision to do something. There's also other collision settings that I'm just going to show you the simple one. For example, you can remove your collision from here. You can add a box can add a capsule can add a sphere or there's much more simplified but more uh, complex collisions than three of those for example this is 10 total sites and each one of them like x y and z is done or 18 doip the 18 side What's the side? 26. 18 one, for, for example, for like that, but we can change from the convex composition, changing the settings, and it's changing the color too. Okay, so today I showed you how you can use collisions inside of Unreal Engine. Also, how you can export your collisions from Blender, which is changing the name of the object. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and write a comment down below. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you're all doing great work.